slam my fridge door again. Jason doesn't have a cake. We don't need to talk about it, Sims. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be continuing on with the Family Tree Legacy Challenge. Last week, Olive had her first date and her first kiss and then her first mood swing to really just wrap that all up. Um, also, I guess her first haunting since that man who was killed by a chicken showed up. Also with that, just random lore tidbits, I looked it up. Noah's mom was also killed by a chicken. So I don't know if there's some curse on that family where they all just get killed by chickens, um, but that's what's happening in my save. He did have kids though. Um, so we'll look at that maybe in the future and see if they also get killed by chickens. I am now interested in kind of like invested. If you guys remind me, <laughs> I'll be invested in it. For today's episode, um, I don't have a whole lot planned other than Sherry and Jason are becoming elders and I'm not ready for it, but I do think that we're going to have a birthday party for them and maybe some more uh, Olive Peyton hangout time, maybe ask him to prom and I have to find out if we're actually going to have another prom before we age up because that would be good to know. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure you like it. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Let's get back into the challenge. We are back and Olive is dramatically crying about life. Our girl's so emotional. <laughs> girl, you need to just go to bed. Just sleep. You have you have school tomorrow, right? Yeah. Today it's oh my gosh, she has school in like an hour. She's gonna be really tired. Today is both Jason and Sherry's birthday though, and tomorrow is Harvest Fest. Okay, but yeah, so I think definitely after school today, we'll be having a little birthday shindig for those two. Invite the friends over. And then when is Olive's birthday? I thought Olive's birthday was the same as Melvin's. Not Melvin. Ruben. When is our birthday? So I had uninstalled and then reinstalled the game. And I think something happened because this is acting like Olive's birthday isn't until the following week. But I thought her and Melvin, nope. But I thought her and Ruben had the same birthday. Am I just wrong? Do we have another, do we have like a week and a half? Do we have two weeks left of being a teenager? How long are you supposed to be a teenager? I'm gonna go back and watch other videos. I really thought Olive's birthday was this upcoming Saturday. It acts like it's next Saturday. We'll see. We'll see. I feel like I feel like we're missing some days here. But girl, you 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 need to sleep so badly. Um, she's done with her mood swing in five hours. I'm not sure what'll happen at that point. But I'm gonna let her sleep right up until school starts. Oh, and it's lottery day. Um. Olive can't buy a lottery ticket, but Sherry and Jason can. Ooh, Jason got his first promotion as a gardener. Um, he's not even at work, but he got promoted, so that's cool. Oh, Jason can work from home? I'm just gonna have Jason work from home. He just has to talk to a plant. I don't even have to tell him to do that. He would just do it. And we're gonna super sell for 15000 And Sherry make bacon cupcakes for the party tonight. We'll see if there's any left when we get home. Oh, Ruben stole a cupcake. He said they're baking, it's breakfast. And we're gonna do a honey cake for the birthday cake with the honey from our garden. Okay, Olive is off to school. Let's go ahead and join her. I am hoping that there will be class. Um, I messed with the mod again. If it doesn't work this time, I might just remove it. Even though I really want... It's really convenient to have Malcolm and Peyton both in our school, but Olive learning skills is more important. Oh, she's still having her mood swing. Um, also, I did give Olive some different outfits. They're so loud. Hey, sad girl, I'm trying to show them your outfit. Um, I gave Olive some new outfits and some different hairstyles instead of just like the two little buns. I figured she had her first date. She's kind of, you know, moving up. And that's why I feel like it says her birthday is coming up. But last time I said she has two weeks of high school. So she would have been like a freshman and then like a senior all of a sudden. So I I feel like this week is her last week. I'll check with some of the other guys and see like if Peyton and uh, Malcolm are supposed to age up as well. Melvin. His name is Melvin. His name is not Malcolm. It is Melvin. 
Yeah, it acts like 21 days. Is 21 days the standard? It's set to normal lifespan. I didn't realize you were a teen for 21 days. That's a long time. Um, guess we've got quite a bit of teen years left. Ooh, that sucks. Oh, and this is Jace Pence. He's, who's your dad? I created one of your parents, Joel. I created Joel Pence. <laughs> so technically it would probably be like a family friend, but I don't think Olive really knows him. No, just seems like a little bit. Okay, so we do have the lunch lady. We have the principal. I don't know where the teachers are. I don't know where they usually hang out in the mornings, but I don't see any teachers. There's so many people. She's talking to so many people right now. She's down here. Oh, she got over her mood swing. Oh, but she's embarrassed because her crush is nearby. That's so cute. One other thing I noticed when I was checking on my game. It's the cutest thing. Olive's in love. Like, it is her first boyfriend, or not, he's not even her boyfriend yet, but it's like her first person she's gone on a date with. And apparently, Olive fell in love with Peyton Bird after that first kiss. So even though that mood swing happened, I don't think that that means that she's not into him. I just think she had a moment. She self-sabotaged. Who are you? Oh, you're a teacher. I was like, why are her boobs so big? Are you pregnant? Is this woman pregnant? Yes. Okay, I was like, those are pre those are pregnant sim boobs. Um, so we've got three out of the four teachers here. They are here, and it's Wednesday. There's an exam prep session after school today, but it does look like everyone's coming upstairs, hopefully going to class. I can attend art class. Let's go attend art class. Please have class. I should watch where your teacher went. Here she is. <clears throat> oh, she just walked. She morphed into a locker ma'am she's doing locker checks this is a good sign we're here we're late but the teacher is teaching it looks so dark in this room she sat in a very dark area of the class oh, there's a fire drill i was like what is this guys guys there's a fire drill because that was necessary on the day rule abiding students should evacuate the building no one else got up Olive follows the rules. Yeah. Oh, oh, they're coming. They were just slow. Olive said, I grew up with a mom who caught my kitchen on fire a lot. I know how to perform a fire drill. <laughs> I'm surprised you don't know the firefighter at this point. Oh, Cassandra Goth is a fire is a firefighter. That's who this is. Well, if we're out of school anyway, might as well spend some time talking to Peyton. Let's get a little flirty. Ooh. Apparently we learned nothing because the fire drill lasted all day. Or all morning. She still has a confidence boost from their first kiss. That, that was lasting. <laughs> The game glitched, and then the principal farted, and that's all. <laughs> Everything got quiet for it. <laughs> Ma'am, everyone's just trying to enjoy their meal. You can't just fart in the front of the line. I do feel like with this mod, though, now that I've been able to add her friends, it's like she's sitting here with Branson and Carson and this guy, Judah. Couldn't remember his name. And, it, and Yusin. But, like... These were people that she, like, kind of grew up with. And so it feels more like, it, it feels more personalized instead of her going to school with, like, whoever the game decides should go to school. I changed my reshade recently, and I'm not, gosh, this is what the game looks like. It looks like this for now, but I feel like it's making parts of the room very dark. All right, Ruben is an A student. Amazing. And let's see, did Olive ever get bumped to an A? Not yet, but she's an excellent B student. Olive is off to cheer practice, so while she's there, I'm going to be helping Sherry set up for a little birthday party tonight. Team practice. Olive is practicing near the field when they hear a warning cry. A football is headed right for their head. I'm going to have her attempt to catch it. She's, she's into fitness. She might be sporty. Hey, what a catch. 
Olive went from front lunge to making the perfect catch. A rival sim from the football team saw that amazing move and is asking if you want to join the team. I don't think we'll join the football team, but that's funny. So I did set up the party. It's going to start at 6 p.m. Olive should get home around 5.30. So she'll have some time to, like, take a shower. And I've got... We made the cake. Let me get this away from Jason before he eats it. It's a honey cake. And we're going to add birthday candles to it. Because we need the cake. There we go. Perfect. Olive has been promoted to cheerleading teammate. She has also received the following bonus. A cheer team flag. Was I not on the team before? Was I like... Was I like the water boy? What is... What is this? Celebrate Jason's birthday by throwing a rockin' birthday party. We are... We got a cheer team flag, so that's cool. And with that, on to the birthday party. It is going to begin. Um, our girl is sleeping. Jason is cleaning. Sherry. Oh, Sherry put on a dress. Look at you, beautiful. You got all dolled up for the party. Oh, I didn't realize. I forgot this was your party outfit. I didn't set them up, but I love this. I think she wore this when she went to go get her award for her book. Mango, blow out candles, tell jokes, play musical instruments. I think we have a guitar. <laughs> oh, your baby's here. This is not your baby's party wear. Girl, you have a party wear look. Let's put that on. There we go. You don't need to wear your gym clothes to your mom's birthday, even though, like, fair enough. <laughs> Who else is here? Oh, Jason. Jason, Sydney's here. I know Riley was invited. Kimber, Stacy. Also, Stacy, you looking trim. You getting to working out or something? Oh, so Riley, cool. who's so hot. Joel. And then I'm going to have... Melvin was invited to this. So he should be here because so was... Oh, there he is. There's Melvin. Because his mom was also invited, but I don't... I haven't seen her yet. Oh, girl, not the cheerleading uniform. We're going to change her outfit. You have a party wear look, I think. Oh, let's go with this one. This one's cute. Yeah, very cute. Oh, you stink. You stink. Okay, take a quick shower. Take a quick shower. Where's Taylor? Did Taylor not? Taylor and Chris not come? Did they say we're busy with thruple things? We'll just send Melvin? Oh, Taylor's here. Okay, Taylor showed up. She was just running late. And I don't know if Chris is coming. I would assume so. Everyone has decided the party is happening in Olive's room. Don't meet Taylor. It acts like you haven't. Ooh, Diamond is pissed. Diamond, relax. Aw, the ladies. The ladies of this generation. I want... Take a picture. Let's take a picture with Diamond. We don't get to see her enough. Take a photo with Diamond. We'll also end up taking one with Sherry and Jason. Cute sisters. They're so cute. On to the birthday girl. Oh, and Diamond's like kind of in the back too. I'm sad. I'm sad that I can't take a picture of all three of them. We'll kind of get her back there. Why is Sherry? Why is Sherry so pretty? She's so pretty. I can't get over it. Oh, with Papa. He has so many piercings in this party look. I completely forgot. Jason's pierced up. Get a couple of her and Melvin together also. I don't think we have a bar. I'm supposed to mix drinks. I'm pretty sure we don't have a bar. Am I right? Slam my fridge door again. Elsa had Olive invite Peyton over. Ooh, they got a new sentiment together. Growing closer with quality time. Love that. Uh -oh. Ooh, our time is what? running down. Um, so it's actually time to do a little celebrate for the birthday and have Sherry blow out her candles. I'm going to have her go first because Jason's currently poorly playing the guitar. Oh, Ruben and Olives now have the jokesters dynamic. Love that. This whole everyone's doing push ups. Y'all, it's birthday time. I asked Sherry to blow out her candles, and she said no. Sherry, my dear, I know you want to have more children and not become an elder, but I do need you to blow out your candles. The party is ending. Oh, Vlad's here. She's having a hard time. 
Okay, come over here and blow out your candles. There we go. Happy birthday, Sherry. I'm sad that you're getting older. It's been a while. Birthday complete. Got a gold medal. Hell yeah. Nailed it. Sherry aged up. I need to pause this because we need to put candles on for Jason. Because I don't know if it's going to think that I forgot his birthday. And they just glitched. Jason, come on. Oh, Olive already went to bed. Jason, it's your turn in your jam jams to blow out your candles. Oh, no. Sherry, how dare you? Sherry took a piece. Jason doesn't have a cake. Jason doesn't get to blow out the candles. Sherry, you need to bake your husband a cake right now. That was for you guys to share. Make him a chocolate cake. Quickly. He's going to age up. Oh, no. Jason, my guy, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Sherry, you do not look like an elder at all. And so I will, I will have to give you a makeover to make you look a little bit older at some point. Peyton, are you in this room yelling? She's trying to sleep. Every time I forget. Every time I forget he doesn't have a family. All right, Jason. Add some birthday candles here, buddy. Let's celebrate your birthday, Jason. And have you blow out the candles. Happy birthday, Jason. Your elder years are here. Jason is aged up. Seniority. Wrinkled bellies. Frosty locks. Frosty locks and an interminable... Interminable? Naps await. Party like the Reaper's not right around the corner. We don't need to talk about it, Sims. It's not. He still looks great. Hey, old man. I love you. So they both had successful lottery days. I don't think either of them won, because it would tell us. Um, But it also doesn't tell me yet who won the lottery. Oh, but we did get a new dresser. That's cool. We are probably going to sell this for cash. Because, um, not exactly our vibe. Ooh, but the cheer poster. Put this up on Olive's wall. And what is this? An open book that's framed. From the level five of the writer career? Was, did Jason, was Jason level five? Just for fun? We'll put that up there. Why not? We can evolve our money tree. Our money tree is magnificent quality. This one too. This one's now excellent. That's wild. And this one's nice. Our plants are doing amazingly well. Jason, Jason really takes care of them. I guess I should be having Olive doing this. When she gets up, I'm going to have her water and weed everything. Because we do need to max out the gardening skill. I am going to give them their little granny style makeover because them not looking any older is so strange. Like, sh the thing is, even without, like, Sherry's CC, she doesn't look that old. Also, I only have two cast columns right now, and that makes me sad. I need to add that back in. I feel like her aging made her lips smaller. That's so strange. And here is Sherry and Jason's elder makeovers um i just switched up sherry's hair which i haven't done at all for her other than like her wedding day um but i love this up here because i think sherry would probably dye her hair still i don't think she'd let herself go full gray right away um and also i i love this outfit for her i just mm -hmm. she's the cutest little old lady and she's got a few more wrinkles here and a little bit at the top. They're not super noticeable, um, but her without CC isn't very wrinkly. She just somehow isn't. Um, versus Jason, who has not had a face overlay this entire time. That's just what his face looks like. Um, he's got a little bit more, you know, wear and tear of age. But I did switch him over more to the gray. This one has like some reddish hues to it, which I thought was good because his hair was kind of that reddish auburn color. 
And yeah, here's just his little casual cozy outfit. I did keep the lip ring. I'm keeping the piercings. I don't think Jason would get rid of them. And also he's been dressing like an old man for a long time. Steamboat? Like I haven't uh, fully updated all the outfits, uh, but these are Jason's outfits uh, as they were. He's <laughs> he's a rocker who's also like super cozy. These ones don't have the right hair. But like these outfits could be on older Jason. All of these right here work perfectly fine. So yeah, that is their makeovers. Since we've completed the birthday party for today, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this episode up here and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. See the city light.